wanted to offer a quick addendum to my selling on reverb video. So I'm going to put them both up at the same time because I forgot a couple things. One thing is low ballers. What do you do about low ballers? Screw them. You just reject it straight off. Seriously, someone offers you half of what you're selling it for and you know that your price is competitive, as I said in the other video, and you're pretty spot on and it's fair, screw them. Just decline, decline, left swipe or whatever the kids do. Um, don't do it. Nine out of 10 times, it's somebody who's going to resell the pedal. Sometimes it's even a shop I've found who doesn't carry that brand because they can't because of competition, but they know they can sell it or maybe they have somebody who came in asking for it. Nine out of 10 times, it's someone who's gonna resell it or a private person who knows that they can sell it for more, duh because you took your time, like I said in the other video, and made sure that you were competitive and the lowest price or equal to the lowest price, don't do it. You also, there's a setting in your shop where you can decline automatically, where you don't even have to deal with it if someone who doesn't at least offer 64% of what you're selling for. Highly recommend that because otherwise you'll just be driven mad on certain items, especially like hard to get, you know, rarer things. It's just not worth it. Um, so that's a strong recommendation. It's not worth it. They're dicks. Don't deal with them. Um, my second thing that I forgot is get a printer. If you, if you have a printer already, great. Hook it up to your computer because Reverb does give you a small shipping uh, discount on everything you sell if you ship through their software, through the either the website or the app. It's, you know, it's not inconsequential. Sometimes it's a couple bucks. More importantly, it automatically sends tracking to the buyer and you're going to get paid out quicker. In fact, you will be paid out, I think it's 4 p.m. by the day of the sale if you've shipped before 4 p.m. or if it's after 4 p.m., it's 4 p.m. the next day. But you already get approved for your payout as soon as you print a shipping label. So you'll save a little on the shipping. For me, because I sell a lot of pedals, the printer paid for itself. I think I paid like 70 bucks or 80 bucks for the printer and I use it for tons of other things as well. You'll end up spending more in the long run on paper and ink. So get a printer if you don't already have one, but if you have one, use it. Don't spend your time going to the post office and waiting a day or two days, which then slows down you getting paid you don't get that higher preferred, the third link of the preferred seller designation for reverb. That's how I get it. As soon as I get a sale, boom, I go, I print out the label, get the box, slap the label on the box. And I have a really good relationship with my postman. I have his phone number, believe it or not. So I text him and say, hey dude, if you're not delivering any boxes today, meaning he doesn't have to come up to the door, I have something for you and he's totally cool. Uh, worse comes to worse, you go to the post office, but my post office and actually every post office I've seen here in Nashville has a 24 hour drop box. So even after hour sales, you slip it in the drop box, boom. At the very least, it's going out first thing in the morning. So. Print, if you're going to be doing a lot of selling on Reverb, highly recommend it. If you're only selling a few pedals, you know, then, you know, go to the post office. Boxes. Office Depot sells these six by six by six boxes. I'm sure you can get them cheaper, but I'm just using this as an example. Uh, Staples has six by six by six boxes. And generally speaking, 
Most pedals will fit in there. However, what I do to make them fit in there is put them long ways and put the padding around it and on top. And it's worked out great. I've had no damage that way because the size of the box and the weight of the box will determine a lot of how much the shipping costs. Of course, right? For smaller pedals, for mini pedals, and some pedals that aren't that heavy, if you can get the smallest box you can get them in is better because they won't rattle around. You think you gotta put a lot of padding around it, but I've shipped so many packages. Trust me on this, the less it rattles around even with padding, the less chance of things getting crushed or banged about. Also, the smaller the box you get it in, the lighter it is, and shipping will cost you less. Uh, Reverb on their site, you can't do this on the United States Postal Service site. You can't do media mail or U, uh, UPS first on the UP, USPS site, but you can do it on Reverb. Why is that important? Because it costs less, right? So if you can get, and USPS first is under a pound, and believe it or not, like I just shipped a pedal today, it was 0.14, so it wasn't even a pound, and it's like one third of what it would cost to ship it priority. So try to get it as tight as you can in the smallest box possible. Trust me, it will be secure. The other thing I would recommend is for anything over a couple hundred bucks, or depending on your financial situation, anything over, say, a hundred bucks, insure it. It's worth the few extra bucks. Now, Reverb has recently, like, tripled, I mean, seriously, it's ridiculous, tripled the insurance. They must be self-insuring rather than insuring through the post office. Um, it's a smart move on their part, but it's usurious, really. Um, because where it used to be like three bucks, four bucks, now it's like eight bucks, nine bucks or more to ensure a decent sized pedal. Like the mini pedal I shipped this morning, they wanted three bucks. Well, the postage was three bucks and it was a hundred dollar pedal. It was insane. So I didn't do it. But depending on your financial situation, you can't afford to get screwed. Either somebody steals it off their porch or it gets damaged. And I've only had one out of 800 pedals get damaged, but it happens. Um, <clears throat> another time it was something else. So I've only had two instances, but only one damage. I think one got stolen and one got damaged. They were both insured, thank God. So I didn't get hit. But especially if it's more than a hundred bucks, or like I said, if your financial situation is you can't even lose a hundred bucks, pay the extra few bucks. I know it's usurious. It's disgusting because it shouldn't be that much, but they got wise and started self-insuring. But if you can't afford to lose the money, spend the money on the insurance. Their customer service used to be better, but it's still great. You'll get covered. The other person will be covered and you won't have to worry about it. Okay, so that's really, really important. Um, and again, the shipping thing, you'll get your rating much quicker the faster you get things shipped out, okay? So those are my extra little bits of advice. I'll put this up with the other video. And if you have any other questions, put them below, let me know. Happy to answer them. Um, and just uh, good selling. All right, see ya.